I'm Caitlin Williams. I'm Steph Norlander. I'm Hannah Hahn. I'm Kate Wright, and we're from the Women's National Field Hockey Team, and this is a year in review of 2016. So 2016, despite not qualifying for Rio, was a pretty jam-packed year for us. Um, and we started out by heading over to San Diego to play our rivals, the U.S. And they were really strong. Um, it was a good test for us to see where we were at and where we needed to uh, close the gaps. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I think same thing heading into 2016. It's hard. We didn't qualify, but um, it made us push harder. And like you say, San Diego was really tough, but that too made us push harder. Yeah, I mean, at, at Pan Am's, uh, both teams played really well. It was probably the closest game we've had against them. Um, so it was a tough loss to take. So going forward, we were pretty excited to test ourselves against them again. And um, yeah, just kind of see where we measure up. Uh, obviously, it was a big year for them. They were, they were Olympic bound, so um, we were peaking at kind of different points. But yeah, it was a good, good measure for us. It was hard to not qualify as it always is, not to qualify, but we really kind of hit the ground running and wanted to make the most of this year and play all Olympic bound teams, which we did. It was great. Like we did really well. We upset Korea, which was the first time in a number of years uh, the women's team has played that well against a top ranked team. And we just kind of skyrocketed from there. So we put in a lot of groundwork and we're excited for 2017. So the Hawks Bay tournament is hosted in New Zealand um, and they invite teams from all over the world. And this year, every team except for us um, was Olympic bound. So we knew heading into the competition that it was going to be really tough and really test us. And that's exactly what we wanted. I think heading into Hawks Bay, we were really excited. Um, but also a little apprehensive. We hadn't played that many top 10 teams at a tournament, I don't think, ever. Um, and the Hawks Bay is a really prestigious tournament, so we were really honored to get the invite there. And we were really looking forward to showing all the hard work that we put in over the last couple months. So the Hawks Bay tournament plays out and there's teams like Korea and Japan, New Zealand, Australia, all the top ranked teams going in the Olympics. And our first game, we're all a bit nervous, but a lot of us had never played Korea before. Um, I think I was one of the only ones we played them in the Olympic qualifier in 2008, um, and it didn't go so well. So we we're very excited to uh, step on the field against them for our first game, and we came out with an upset, which was such a cool feeling. Um, and I was so proud of my team. So. I think moving forward, that really gave us kind of the, the push and the rest of our games were really close. Yeah, I mean, it was a really good because it, there wasn't anything major on the line. It was more bragging rights than anything. So it was a really good opportunity for us to practice playing in those high pressure situations so that when we do get to World Cup qualification and Olympic qualifications again, then we would have that little bit more experience to kind of, we can back ourselves, we can trust that we've been in those high pressure situations before and we've had really good results. So yeah, it was just, it was really good practice. It was really fun to play against those teams. And like Kate said, we had some upsets and we had some really close games. So I think every year it kind of gets a little bit easier. It's not as much of a shock when you step on the field, but I think that's probably because of my great teammates too. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, Hawks Bay was a really awesome tournament for me. I enjoyed playing all the high level teams. Um, and the upset was definitely a highlight. Well, I think it was from Hawks Bay that we were actually invited to Japan. So I think Japan was really impressed with our level of compete and how we played and they wanted to include us in their Olympic preparation, which was a huge honor and we were thrilled to go. Um, so going to Japan, it was our first time for everyone on a field hockey tour. So we didn't really know what to expect. And <laughs> uh, some of the food was a bit <laughs> questionable, um, but we somehow managed to get by. Limited sushi, which we were all surprised about, but lots of raw fish and rice. So we had to adapt our pregame meals a little bit, but uh, Japan is a great team. They're very clinical. Their traps are perfect every time. And 
I think we can learn a lot from them, which we did in that tour. It was great to start a relationship with them, and I think they'd love to come here and, and play us, which would be fantastic. So I think moving forward, um, we want to keep Japan close, uh, but not too close. <laughs> and I think we're, we're going to beat them next time we see them. Well, we started with India, yeah. and those were really good games, really close. One was, was it rained out? Yeah. Oh yeah, that storm. Storm. the one yeah, we were yeah. going to win. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I think even, even there we showed so much improvement and we're closing that gap and playing really well. It's kind of a good opportunity for us to play the States again after having played them at the beginning. And it was a great measure for us because it showed how much improvement we'd come, like how far we'd come over the last couple months leading up to that point. So I thought it was really valuable for us to end our competition year with that. We were their last game um, before they flew down to Rio, and I think we can take confidence out of that too. Like they wanted to, to play us again, which is great. And I think that's kind of what we established ourselves as being that team that you want to play against. So you have teams qualifying for the Olympics and they're ranked all over um, the map and there were just upset after upset after mm -hmm. upset and teams coming out on top who you wouldn't think. And um, so it was, I think that's how our game plays out a lot. No one kind of knows what we're all about. And so we come in fired up and competing and scrappy and uh, sometimes pull out that win. And I think that's exactly what hockey's coming to. All the teams are narrowing out and everyone's becoming really good and it's kind of who shows up on the day. So yeah, it was, it was quite the experience to watch. I think it's cool too, because we've actually, we've played most of those teams that were there. So then you can kind of think back to your own experience playing against them, like Great Britain. We've played them yeah. a few times now. So it's kind of seeing them win the gold medal, but then seeing like, oh, well, when we played them, like, yeah. it, we was, tied them. it was tied yeah. them. It was, like, it was a close game. So it's yeah. like, okay, and they just won a gold medal. So it's like, it's, yeah, it's really, I don't know, it's really cool It's that we've kind of come that far. It was really exciting for me and inspiring to see the men play and compete at that level. Um, it definitely fueled the fire too. We, we were happy for them, but we definitely <laughs> wanted to be there. Um, but yeah, they, it was exciting to see Canada back at the Olympics and we were really excited for them um, and really excited to see them compete. So it was good. I think our results really showed that we can compete with these top level teams and we're slowly knocking down doors and telling countries that we're coming and that you need to take us seriously and that um, to get better that you can play us and we're a good competition for you to um, invite. So uh, I think it was both a good confidence boost for us, but it was also um, good to get a little more exposure for our team. It's not easy. This year had it was frustrating being that close to winning games and not coming away with the result. Um, but I mean, Ian just kind of kept reminding us it's more about the process and if we're closing gaps that eventually we will get those results when it matters. So it's just sticking to the game plan and trusting our preparation, trusting what we're all doing and just, yeah, sticking with it a bit. I think it was a like, good preparation and training year. Like there was a lot of, we played a lot of good matches, Hawks Bay and Japan, but really it felt like our team came together and got stronger. Well, right now it's excitement. <laughs> when it gets closer too, I'm sure there'll be some nerves there. Um, but yeah, like you said, it's, it's no one's really ever experienced having a tournament like that at home. I mean, you were on the team when we hosted the Olympic qualifier in 2008, so you would have a bit of experience there. But um, yeah, we're just really excited to start training in the new year again um, and just making sure we put our best fit, best foot forward and. Yeah, just put a show on and just play really well and it's going to be really exciting. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, like, I grew up in North Van, so always around that field. And then when Rutledge got put in, I played a lot of high school games there. And so playing a major tournament there is going to be really cool. And Yeah, well, I mean, same. Steph and I both grew up playing together, really. And to have our, all of our fans and, and friends who have supported us over the years be able to come and watch and see 
where all the time that we put in has gone um, will be really great. And I think it'll be great for the community as well. West Van Field Hockey Club is hugely supportive of what uh, Field Hockey Canada does. And so to have that um, support from them and the community will be really, really cool, I think. Yeah, for sure. I think a lot of people really enjoyed um, the men's Olympic preparation and having the games against the states over at Rutledge and around Vancouver was great. People were able to kind of finally see field hockey um, for what it is. And and we're really excited for that because there's such a big population of female field hockey players in Vancouver and they've never seen us play before. So it's great to be able to showcase what we do um, on the world stage here at home uh, in front of these little girls who hopefully one day want to play with us and be on our team. And I think that's really special and something we're really looking forward to.